Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a, I guess you can call it a reveal. Um, originally I wanted to do an unboxing of this particular bag, but I have just been too lazy to film, to be honest. So it's going to be a reveal slash review because I have used the bag since I got it and if you hear any noise in this video my little one is right here she woke up from a nap I was hoping to film this video while she was napping but she woke up and I asked her if she would be good and sit for me while I filmed and she said yes so we're gonna try it and see how this goes so I have the bag right here this is it it's in the dust bag and this is a fairly new bag to Louis Vuitton it released, um, I want to say in June or July of this year, and it is, let me see if I'm afraid, the Sienna MM, and currently this bag only comes in a PM size, the MM size, which is this one, and then the bigger size, which is the GM size. And in canvas, it only comes in this Damier Bean canvas. There is a new bag that just came out, I believe it's called the Mars Sunning? Marzan? It's something like that. And it looks identical to this bag, um, but an emperant leather. And the only visual difference that I know of is the zipper. This one has a single zip that goes all the way across the bag, and the Marzanine has a double zip that meets right here in the middle, right where this tab is. And then where the tab is, there's a magnetic closure. So it's a really pretty bag, so if you like the look of this bag, but maybe you wanted an all leather bag, um, you can get that in the Marzini. So this is just going to be a quick review because I do have my little one here, and I want to try to film one more video on this bag right after this. Um, so let's just jump right on into it. So as you can see, it is in the Damier Bean. It has a really... See if I can show you a really pretty leather tab right here, and it is embossed with Louis Vuitton Paris. It has one in the back, but the back one is just smooth. And on these little rivets up here in the front, these two little rivets, it is engraved with Louis Vuitton. It has the rolled handles similar to the Speedy, so you can hand carry it or you can arm carry the bag. Um, it has the pleating on both sides. I think I might already mentioned that. The pleating on both sides of the bag. And it has these two leather chaps pieces that are for the shoulder straps. So you have a D-ring on this side and then the same on this side. So the straps do attach to the side of the bag, not, not behind the handles like some of the newer bags that are coming out. The bag also has a more structured bottom. A re I mean, it's still squishy, and as I'm using it, it's getting squishier, but it's still going to hold its shape on the bottom compared to a Speedy or another bag like that. And then, like I said, it does have the one zipper with the gold zipper pool that is engraved on both sides with Louis Vuitton. Let's open it up. Inside, I do keep my stuff with some air paper, so I'll move that. And I have the strap inside, which I'll show you in a second. So inside you do have the beautiful red lining. On one side here you have a big pocket. And then on the other side you have the two flat pockets here. And then on the side with the large pocket you do have your stamp. Mine says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And that's pretty much it. It's the textile lining. It's not the microfiber or the suede lining. It's just the regular textile lining that you'd find in the Speedies. Um, then you have the adjustable shoulder strap. This one, unlike the bandolier, is just two straps versus the three sections. So you only get one option, pretty much. And, I mean, it's still adjustable, but you don't have the three separate pieces. 
if that makes any sense. <laughs> I keep saying that a lot. I'm sorry. I'm like frazzled. My dog is downstairs barking. I don't know what she wants. We just went outside. She did her business. I think she's hungry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little frazzled. Anyways, like I said, it's an adjustable strap. It has one, two, three, four, five adjustments. I do have mine on the shortest adjustment because I am short and um, I need it. And the way it attaches, it has the little lobster claw and it's also engraved with Louis Vuitton. I don't think you can see it from back here. Um, yeah, that's how it attaches. So I'll go ahead and I will attach the strap and show you what it looks like. Now, the MM, which is the smaller size, a lot of people have been getting that bag and wearing it as a crossbody bag. Um, and I think it's great. I, the MM, I've seen it in store. It's a really great size. It's cute. It's little. It's kind of like the Speedy 25. When people get the Speedy 25, they typically wear it crossbody. Same with the PM. However, with this MM, on my frame, since I am short, um, I find it too bulky to wear it as a crossbody bag. And so I just wear it as a shoulder bag. So this is how it looks on the shoulder. So it hangs real nicely. I like that it's on the sides. Um, I'll kind of show you what it looks like on me. You can see it hits me pretty low. I mean, this is my lower hip area. Oh, I know on the purse form, um, one member said before she left the store, she made the essay make a few extra holes so she can make the strap shorter. Um, I didn't purchase mine in Boutique. I ordered it from the Louis Vuitton website. So if you can do that, I don't know if that's like standard practice that all boutiques will do that. Um, but it's worth a shot to ask if you're like me, you're short, and you feel like this hangs a little too low on you. Um, I think it'd be great to ask to see if they could make those extra holes. Otherwise, you could always take it to a shoe repair shop. I have thought of doing that. Um, I do have some other Damier bean bags which have a shoulder strap that are shorter that I could always use. But is anyone else like me? When I get a bag and it comes with a part like a strap, I like to use that strap on that bag. And I can't use it on any other bag. Is that weird? Maybe it's weird. I don't know because I just feel like I wouldn't use the strap otherwise and then it's kind of a waste of money. Like I just have a strap just sitting there not getting used when it's made to go with this particular bag and that bothers me. So I'm really trying to use it. I do have my other options though and like I said I have used this bag. We went on a road trip a couple months ago right after I purchased the bag. It was I had just received it and we went on the road trip that same week and I decided to take it with me to give it a good shot. Um, I liked it because it was, I mean, it is in the Damier Abine. So I liked it that it was understated. We were going to go visit some old military friends and I didn't want to carry any monogram. I just didn't want to come off as kind of flashy. We hadn't seen them in over five years now. Um, since my husband's been out, so, um, you know, I didn't want to wear anything too flashy. I wanted to be kind of understated, but I still wanted to bring one of my good sturdy bags with me. And I liked the idea of this bag that if we went out to a nicer dinner or someplace where I wanted to be kind of hands, like a handheld bag, I have the option. And then just kind of going around town, maybe doing some touristy stuff. Um, I had the shoulder strap to do that as well. So that's why I chose to take this bag. And I thought it was a pretty good size um, that it would fit all my essentials. I was a little disappointed by this bag. Um, I got it because I wanted something that was an alternative to a speedy bandolier in the size 30. And my next review video, you'll kind of see why I didn't want to purchase the speedy bandolier in the size 30 in the Damier Bean um, because I do have it in the monogram 
But I wanted something different. I wanted an alternative, something that would give me the same type of function, meaning the handheld and the shoulder strap without it being this speedy. So I thought that this was a good compromise. I tried the GM on in store when I was buying my Artsy. And I was with one of my girlfriends and she really liked the bag and she wanted me to get it, but I had my heart set on the Artsy at the time. Um, so I didn't get it and I tried on the size and I thought it was a good size, but it was a little big. And I kind of went through a phase when I first started getting into bags of buying the biggest size because in my mind you know bigger is better right go big go home uh, especially when the bigger size is only a little bit more than the smaller size and you know, feel like you're getting more bang for your buck with the bigger size so I kind of went through that whole trend and I kind of realized that bigger isn't always better it's not always the most practical to carry on an everyday basis especially having a little one sometimes I need something that's big enough to carry all my essentials with a little bit of extra room to maybe throw in a sweater of hers or a water bottle of hers or a toy of hers but not so big where my stuff is kind of swimming in the bottom and the bag is eating me alive practically. Um, so I have sold some bags that were just too big. I wasn't wearing them because they were too big and I've really been going for that Goldilocks size, you know, that medium size I've been finding is the perfect size for me. Um, so that's why I went for the MM. I didn't try the MM on in store, um, but I figured it would it'd be about the size of a Speedy 30. And it's not, because um, I do have, like I said, I do have my Speedy 30. It's right in between. It's not as small as Speedy 25. It's not as big as a Speedy 30. So this is a right in between size. So if you're someone that wants a little bit more room than the Speedy 25, but maybe thinks the Speedy 30 is a little too big, then this will be a good bag for you. Um, it looks big, and it looks as big as the Speedy 30, you know, lengthwise, but it's just because this bag is tapered. Let me move the shoulder strap. The way this bag tapers up. So you have this wide base, and unless you lay everything kind of down, which I don't, I like to stack my things like standing up, um, you know, you're not going to have that much room. You just have everything you can fit here in the base, and then everything else is, you know, you can't fit as much. So that's that. Um, I'll show you quickly what fits inside, and then I'll give you my one con of the bag, and then we'll be done. And hopefully this madness can be over, right, because this video has been all over the place. I'll see if I can edit. I've never done editing before, um, but this video needs some editing. So I'll show you what I usually take every day with me. This is not necessarily a what's in my bag, but I carry the same stuff every single day. Mommy. Yes, baby. So the first thing I have here, this is the pouch that comes with the Neverfull. This is with the Neverfull MM. And as you see, it's in the Dami Bean print. I love Dami Bean. Um, and this comes with me every day. It holds my coupons and like hand wipes for my little one. The next thing I bring with me every day is my toiletry 19. And this is kind of like my first aid kit slash essentials that I just don't want to spill out. It holds... Um, I went through this with my what's in my bag, so I won't go into depth, but I hold some women products and hand lotion, some sanitizer, some headache medicine, just stuff like that that I don't want rummaging around my purse. Next I have, oh, on the floor, um, this is my cosmetic pouch in the PM size, and it's in the monogram. And as you'll probably see, I really like my accessories in the monogram. I like my bags in the Dami Bean mostly. I do have monogram bags, but I gravitate towards Dami Bean. But in SLGs, I really like monogram. So my PM cosmetic pouch, it just holds my basic, you know, touch up type of makeup. Then I have my Zippy compact wallet also in the monogram. I need to take this in for repair. If you guys want me to do a video on that, let me know down below in the comments. Um, it will be my second time taking this in for repair. 
So I can do a video on that for you. You guys want to know all about this, but I do love this wallet. So that goes in. Then I have my sunglass case. This is in the MM, also on the monogram. And it just houses my sunglasses. And these sunglasses are the Ray-Ban Erica's. I'm not going to put them on. Um, I really like these because they are very thin. Um, almost like aviator thin. So when I put them in this sunglass case, it doesn't bulge out the sunglass case. It doesn't deform it or anything. Which, you know, if you put in thicker sunglasses, you'll kind of get these weird caves in the canvas and stuff and I don't like to do that to my canvas pieces so I like that these sunglasses fit in it very nicely. So those are my typical everyday sunglasses. Then I also have my six ring key holder. I forgot what this is called. And yay! It's a dummy bean piece. I love this little guy. Best thing ever. I am with Minx for all when she says that you have to give up every other item but you can only keep one. I agree. I would keep my six ring key holder. It is the best investment. Anyways, and I have a clay. This is just the monogram clay again. It houses loyalty cards um, and some business cards. And then I have one more clay. This one's also in the Dami, a bean. And this is, whoo, <laughs> need to finish. <laughs> this is um, used for change because um, I don't keep change in my wallets either. I know a lot of us don't. So this is how everything fits inside. You can see very nicely. It fits perfect. And I still have some room here on the top. If I wanted to throw in um, a jacket, let's pretend for my daughter, because I wouldn't throw in a jacket for myself. But let's pretend the dust bag is a jacket. You can still put that in on top. Like that, and then the bag would still zip up very nicely. Oh, also, I guess another thing I'd have in my purse is my phone. This is the iPhone 6 Plus, and I would just stick that in this back pocket. So everything is in it, it zips up, and as you can see, it zips up very nicely. The zipper isn't distorted or anything. Everything fits in it perfectly. Now, my one con about this bag. And I'm trying not to let it bug me. I'm trying really hard to kind of get over it. Um, but I find it really hard to do. I don't know. You guys let me know if I'm just being crazy nitpicky. I love this bag when it's hand carried. It keeps its shape. It looks so feminine. It's beautiful. However, when I carry this bag by the shoulder strap, if I don't have anything on top, like I showed you, like the jacket or the water bottle or anything, which I don't normally like to do. I don't normally like to have items on top because if I'm out at the store, I want to be able to get my wallet easy or one of those pouches, anything else. I want to have easy access. I don't want to have to take items out to get to it. I organize my bag in a very particular way because I like easy access. So if you don't have anything on top and you carry this bag by the shoulder, I don't know if it's going to do it now. Yeah, it's kind of doing it already. But it will, I'll kind of force it. It will kind of concave on itself. Let me see if I can show you. So you see how the zipper, especially up on top there, because there's really nothing up there. The sunglass case is kind of right here, so it's kind of keeping this one in shape. But it's not doing it nearly as bad, but it will, when you carry it, it will really start to bend in like this. And it will just get really kind of distorted looking on the shoulder, like, like this. I don't know if that's, if I'm really showing you anything, but it just gets really wonky and I'm not really liking it. I've asked other members on the purse form, you know, what they've notice with this bag and everyone with the MM and GM size has been saying yes it does that but it doesn't really bother them. Um, PM members are saying no. I mean that's because the bag is smaller so your items kind of hit more at the top so it kind of helps it to keep its shape. Um, but there's that. And the reason it bothers me is because I got this bag to be mainly used 
as a shoulder bag. And if I don't like the way it looks as a shoulder bag, then it kind of prevents me from wanting to carry it. I've still been forcing myself to carry it um, and just trying my best to get over it. But I'm not 100% sold on the bag. I don't know. It's always kind of right there at the chopping block because I love it. I love how it looks. It's a beautiful bag, especially hand or arm carried, which I do like to carry it like that. But for every day, being practical, the shoulder is what works for a mommy. And I just don't like the way it looks. So let me know down below if that would bother you. It's not horrible, but when I look in the mirror, I kind of think it looks a little ugly. If I'm going to be honest, it looks a little ugly. So unless I just get over it and I start piling things in my bag to help the bag keep its shape or I deal with it concaving or I strictly carry it as arm carried or I just sell it. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't know. You tell me down below what you think I should do. Um, and yeah, that is that. I'm going to go. This video was super long. I didn't think it was going to be this long and it was kind of crazy all over the place. I'm going to try my best to find, I don't even have an editing software because I'm still really new to this whole YouTube thing. So I'm going to try to edit all the messy things out and try to make this video more make more sense and more condensed. But there you go. That is my review on the Sienna NM. It's a beauty. I love it. It has one con, which is kind of a big con to me personally because, you know, half of the attraction of buying these bags is liking how they look and liking how they feel when you carry them and, you know, I'm not liking it so far. So it's a disappointment. But maybe, like I said, maybe I can just get over it or figure out another way to make it work for lifestyle. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to go guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.